So now that you've seen Newton's law of universal gravitation, let's have a think about how Newton actually came up with this law. So Newton actually came up with it while he was self-isolating due to the Great Plague of London. So this is something that we've all had some recent experience of. So there were several things that Newton needed to know to be able to come up with his theory. So one of these was the acceleration due to gravity close to the Earth's surface. So he could measure this and knew that it was 9.8 meters per second per second. So you may have heard the story of Newton sitting under an apple tree and an apple falling down and hitting his head. Maybe this is where that story comes from. He did know how fast things fall close to the Earth's surface. Now the other thing he knew was that the moon was approximately 60 Earth radii away from the center of the Earth. So he was able to, or people during his time were able to work out how far the moon was away by measuring the size of the Earth's shadow on the moon during eclipses. So he knew that the moon was around about 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters away from the center of the Earth. And the other thing he knew was the orbital period of the moon. He knew that the moon took 27.32 days to orbit the Earth. We could make this measurement today as well quite easily. He also knew the orbital periods for some of the planets, which didn't help him come up with the theory, but helped him test it. So once he'd worked out what was going on with the moon, he could then use the planets to test it. So from knowing these three facts, Newton could work out the orbital speed of the moon. So we know that speed is just given by the distance divided by the time. So for something which is moving around a circle, like the moon is circling the earth, this is just given by the circumference divided by the period. So for the earth moon system, the speed is given by two pi times 3.84 times 10 to the eight, because that's the radius of the moon's orbit, divided by the period, which is the 27.32 days, which we need to get into seconds. So we times it by 24, then times it by 60 and times it by 60. And solving this, we can work out that the moon is traveling at a speed of 1022 meters per second. Now from this, we can work out the centripetal acceleration of the moon around the Earth, just using our equation that the centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared divided by R. So this is equal to 1022 squared divided by 3.84 times 10 to the eight, which when we solve it, we get 0 0.00272 meters per second per second. Now the really interesting thing that Newton did was he decided to compare the rate of acceleration close to the Earth's surface to the acceleration of the moon towards the Earth. So he realized that the moon was constantly accelerating towards the Earth as it went around this circular orbit. And if we do G, the acceleration due to gravity of something close to the Earth's surface, which is 9.8, divided by this centripetal acceleration of the moon, which is 0.00272, we get 3,605, which is approximately 3,600. And Newton realized that this was just 60 squared. And then he was like, 60, that's familiar. Where else is this 60? And he realized that the moon was 60 Earth radii away from the center of the Earth. And so this made Newton realize that the universal law of gravitation is an inverse square law, where it's inversely proportional to the radius squared. So once Newton had come up with this law, he was able to test it for what was known for the planets as well. And so concluded with his law of universal gravitation that F is equal to G M1 M2 on R squared.